Hello and welcome in the cellar. In this video, I will show you how I finished a big chunk of wall of the main chamber. Also, I wanted to thank all the new uh, subscribers and people who commented on earlier video. The last video about the tour uh, is doing quite well, so that's nice. So yeah, uh, let's look at the work. This will be a kind of a long video. As I said in the last video, I wanted to start by looking at this hole in the vault, which is in a poor condition. It has been uh, dug into the vault to pass some uh, pipes. And uh, yeah, it's really not uh, well done. There are layers of uh, different uh, um, work that are, have been piled one on top of another. So I took a look at it and Gingerly, I tried to uh, to clean a bit around and see what was uh, good or not. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm um, really thinking about it. I and I'm I'm not at ease at all. Uh, I was a bit scared that some of the bricks that have been put in there to hold the shape together were just holding uh, by uh, a prayer. So in the end, I decided to listen to my gut and uh, I'll see if I can uh, find some contractor to do this and some other studs in the cellar or I will get back to it later and try to find a way to be a bit more confident uh, in what I'm doing. So instead I started uh, cleaning the wall and you can see me using my uh, laser level to find the delimitation between the ceiling and the joints of the vault. So cleaning uh, the wall uh, it's really not uh, my favorite part, it's a bit uh, tedious. Only nice thing is that you're kind of rediscovering the, the wall, uh, finding the shape of the stones when you're removing uh, a lot of the crummy mortar. And also uh, there was, particularly on this part in the cellar, a kind of uh, black residue on the stones. A bit sticky, a bit like a paste. So I'm thinking it's uh, some soot um, mixed with uh, water and humidity, and I don't really know. But uh, it was nice to, to remove it uh, and see the nice uh, stones uh, behind. So here yeah, I'm doing my first mix. I was a bit uh, taken aback because I had not enough to do. Um, a full load with only NHL uh, 3.5 lime, so I used a mix of uh, NHL and uh, CL90 aerial lime, which I don't think is a bad practice or whatever, it's just that I will need to do the exact same thing in the future to get a match in color. And also you can see me preparing uh, stones, which I could have done a bit uh, earlier, but anyway. I'm taking time to uh, fill up the holes that were there for older um, beams. Maybe those holes were also used to build the vault, I'm not really sure. But uh, I think the vault was uh, placed on top of a, a mold, a form at least, and maybe the, the holes were uh, used for that purpose. Mortar day is always a, a good day for me because it's really where you see the project take shape and 
you get the most uh, transformation of the wall. Uh, here I am brushing the joints after uh, a day or two. You can see the before and after. As you can see and as you can imagine, uh, Sunday are a bit of the worst. Uh, just going to the hardware store, getting the sound in the car, trying to find a place to put the car near the house. And this particular day, they were out of uh, the finer sound I use, the yellow bags. The blue bags are 0.4 millimeters, the yellows are 0.2. So I'm using a, a mix of the two in my uh, mortar. So I was a bit pissed about that also. But yeah, um, very tedious, not very long. I, I have my process uh, nailed down now, but uh, yeah, I have to have two pairs of gloves not to burn my hand with the rope and everything. So happy when it's done. And now I am uh, cleaning up uh, the area beneath the wall I need to, uh, to clean. And it's uh, going back to uh, cleaning the wall, cleaning the joints, brushing the stones. So again, not a very uh, interesting uh, moment. Um, but you have to do what you have to do. This is really a good moment to listen to podcasts rather than music. I find that after a bit uh, the only music is uh, not enough to uh, entertain and I, I'm quite uh, rapidly bored. So I'm using uh, compressed air to clean the joints and it's uh, very effective. Of course, before each uh, repointing, I am uh, wetting uh, the stones and uh, the joints. And it's another day or mortar, again with a bit of holes to fill for the older wooden beams. And after that, uh, cleaning the joint, brushing the joints, which is a really nice uh, step also because you are getting the final look of the, the walls and you are fine tuning where your joints is uh, stopping and where the stones are beginning. So I like it. So another day of uh, sound. And then I'm cleaning the wall. So I think in the future I will clean the wall in one go. And after that I'll do mortar mortar. But this way alternating the steps is also a good way to stay motivated and not to do always the same thing over and over again. And at least there is a bit of uh, variety in there.
So a bit of a closer look of uh, the repointing. Uh, it's really not uh, that complicated or specific. I'm just trying to push the mortar uh, as far as I can. I'm trying to fill all the void. Sometimes I end up using my hands uh, and uh, I think I don't like it because it doesn't feel like a very appropriate method but in the end if it's working it's not that stupid. And the most fun part is uh, cleaning my uh, mixer which uh, it's not very fun since I'm trying to not use a lot of water um, and uh, I'm reusing the water and the, um, all the mortars that I end up uh, uh, cleaning. I'm keeping it and I'm reusing it in the next batch. And um, it's working quite well so yeah it's a way to be very uh, mindful of how much uh, water I use and also since I'm in the cellar I can't really uh, uh, use a hose and uh, a lot of water. Cleaning the wall again, brushing the joints and you can see the huge difference and uh, yeah it's really uh, a nice last step. And this is the way I'm cleaning the joints of the old mortar. I am using um, painter's knives uh, which I like because uh, the blade is very fine so I can go into very uh, tiny crevices and I'm uh, scraping the mortar on all sides of the stones. Uh, yeah, I try to be very thorough because uh, when you're um, applying your mortar and you're uh, um, mushing it into old earth, it's not a very a good feeling. Your mortar ends up being uh, tainted by the color of the earth also. So I spend uh, quite a lot of time to have a really nice uh, joint uh, before I can uh, do the mortar. This part of the wall was the most uh, troublesome, uh, as you can see a, a big chunk uh, fell off and yeah I don't really understand how it was done, there is a layer uh, that is not holding much, not very um, attached to the depth of the wall and uh, yeah I was uh, a bit worried that all of it was uh, going to come down but fortunately it's, it held up uh, long enough for me to do the mortar and uh, do uh, the job of uh, repairing this masonry. But yeah, as you can see it's kind of strange and the whole masonry and uh, original rock layer intertwined it's a bit um, difficult to understand how it was done exactly, why especially. And also I had to remove um, some blocks of rocks that weren't uh, holding anymore. This rock is really um, crumbly and it tends to, to be very easy to, to break. Since I had a lot of space to fill, I took the time to clean uh, some stones. Uh, you can see me going into the crawl space and getting uh, older stones. And uh, in the end I, I ended up uh, needing more stone. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's always good to have a lot of stones on hand. 
So I will spend uh, some of some times of the video on this part of the project because it was uh, uh, the more involved one, and uh, I must say I like uh, doing masonry. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's uh, the part of the old renovation that has uh, me the most uh, involved. You must make a lot of decision all along the, the way and it's uh, really enjoyable. Uh, I'm trying to be very mindful of uh, all the masonry rules. Uh, try to have the stones uh, supporting each other rather than uh, counting on the mortar. Trying to have crisscrossing uh, in the depths as well as in the front. Uh, trying to avoid uh, having uh, saber cuts. Uh, the same stones lining up in the same way and uh, yeah i had a lot of uh, space to fill uh, but uh, in the end it uh, was uh, i think quite successful and uh, i left the world in a way better state than i found it and it's always the goal in my uh, renovation <laughs>
stretch of work on this wall, only repointing. All in all, uh, for this part of the cellar, I spent around 90 hours to work on an uh, area of 18 uh, square meters, which uh, is around 20% of what I have left. So using that metric, uh, I have uh, 360 hours left uh, to finish the cellar. And if I work around 12 hours per weekend, per weekend, I think I can finish uh, well below the two years I uh, spoke about earlier. Um, it's uh, 30 weeks minimum, and I think we can uh, assume it's uh, very, very minimum. So I think in a year I, I can be finished with that. So now I am cleaning the, the rock and I am uh, whitewashing it, so it's uh, only lime with water and a bit of uh, dark pigments, which is like uh, coal or carbon powder or something. have the finished result. It's been uh, quite a bit of work as you saw. I know that maybe the whitewash uh, which I chose to be grey will be a bit controversial but uh, I needed something to protect the rock layer because this is very oh yeah it's very easy to to destroy. So yeah I hope the whitewash will Stabilize it a bit and uh, prevent it for, from becoming just dirt. Uh, I think I will, um, I will maybe uh, do a second coat, but only when everything else is finished. This was a big test for the whitewash, but I think I'll use it uh, in other places. I have rocks in here, also in the, in the poop cellar, and also in here. So yeah, I'm happy with the result. Honestly, I, 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 as I said earlier, I didn't want I didn't want it to be too white, and uh, there were other uh, pigments, but uh, yeah, I, I chose to not choose and go with gray. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, so big chunk of work on this part, which was really crumbly and this kind of uh, layered wall and the, the layer was a bit disjointed, disjointed from the back, so I had to redo quite a lot of, of it. And uh, also trying to plug all the um, uh, beam holes. I'm happy with the way that my different uh, works patch are um, keeping it uh, together. I'm happy I'm happy with the consistency of the color. Also, I like the transition between the, um, the wall joints and the ceiling. It's not easy to do, but uh, yeah, it's all right. In the end, it's all right. So right now, the whitewash is not completely set, completely dry. Uh, I only painted it uh, yesterday. It's really easy to do. Uh, it's quite uh, enjoyable uh, just painting it. It's not, yeah, you can see. I, I did it um, a bit too soon. I, I should have waited to brush the joints. Uh, so yeah, so some of the joint uh, dust is, uh, has fallen on it and I brushed it afterwards. But yeah, I will uh, put a, a second coat when I'm finished. And I think I will do the whitewash really at the end when I, I don't have as much uh, dust flying around. Just a really stark difference between this state, dark and muddy and everything and, and the, the new joints. Yeah, it really will be something when it's done. Um, yeah, working on this part next, 
but there is quite a bit of height to contend with. A bit of holes also here, 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 and I have the uh, duct in the way, which will be a pain. After this big chunk of work is done, uh, I've been pushing quite a lot, so I suspect the rhythm will drop a bit in, a, in the next weeks. Uh, I have some plans also. Um, I will start to work on the wall opposite, which will be a, a bit more tricky in some areas. I need to use uh, scaffolding a bit more, it's higher. And also, uh, before that, I need to shuffle my lightning around in the cellar. So yeah, expect the video uh, not too soon, I'll say. I don't know if I will keep uh, doing quite the same video. I, need, I think it's uh, not really enjoyable to see uh, the same thing over and over again. So I will have to think a bit about that. But uh, anyway, thank you for having watched this one and I will see you in the next one.